Here's the problem. Every day in the world of construction is completely different. One day it might be snowing five degrees and I might be having to walk two miles out into the woods to survey some train tracks. Other days, you might be in a completely finished space, warm, comfortable air conditioning, you know, and it's hard to plan for each circumstance. And so that means that your gear loadout really changes quite a bit. One day it might just be a tablet and simple hand tools, or maybe no tools at all if you're going to meetings. Other days, you may be packing in for a serious 12 hour shift, maybe overnight. So you gotta bring food, water, all those different things that come with you, rain gear, extra tools, all that stuff. So the problem is that a lot of modular systems, they're overly tactical looking, you know? And sometimes I, I just don't really care for that look. Plus they have a lot of features which really aren't exactly meant for the construction world. They're more meant for backpacking, hiking, that kind of thing. And they're definitely a no-go when it comes to the office. And a beautiful polished leather briefcase, that doesn't really fare very well when it's thrown to the back of a pickup truck. Luckily, the Carhartt cargo system seeks out to make those problems a thing of the past. Now, full transparency, I do have a relationship with Carhartt, even though I've been using their products on my own for the last 20 years. It's more of a, I like them, they like me kind of thing. Did they tell you that they like me? How did they sound when they said it? <laughs> I can't believe Carhartt likes me. So a little bit about me. If you haven't watched this channel before, I am a licensed electrician. I've been working in the construction industry for the last 15 years. Before that, I was a mechanic and tow truck driver for seven years. I've worked in the blue collar world my entire life. So let's get on to the cargo series of bags. At its core, you have the main pack, which can actually be one of three models depending on your needs. So if you have a pretty modest loadout, then uh, look at the messenger bag or the medium pack. Both of these offer plenty of space and the ability to be expanded with add-on packs. But if you're like me and tend to overpack for the day with rain gear and extra layers and is that a toy unicorn? Well, then you're going to want the big boy, the large pack. This is a pretty standard layout with compartments for pretty much everything, including a laptop sleeve, fleece lined eyewear compartment, which is really cool, especially for safety glasses and two external mesh pouches, which are great for water bottles and things like that. It's made from 500 denier Cordura ripstop with a rain repellent finish and it features a breathable back panel, sternum strap and hideaway hip belt. Now, this sternum strap is especially important, especially when you really load this thing down. And if you are walking into a job or even if you're just taking it anywhere for a long time, just to disperse that energy and the weight and the load across your chest, it really does make a huge difference. So I'm really glad that they included this. And it's really a pretty fully featured bag. I found that it can handle most of my days without a problem, but this pack and the medium pack both come with an add-on pack, which uses Carhartt's hook and haul system. Now, this is a pretty interesting method of attachment and surprisingly secure. Basically, there's two strips of loops sewn to the outside of the main pack and the add-ons just clip to them. Easy, simple, and effective. The real benefit of this system though, is that it allows me to build up my pack depending on my needs for the day. So if it's gonna be a long day, I can put on the insulated cooler pack to hold my lunch and the three can insulated pack with some extra water bottles. One little note about that three can insulated pack is that it'll hold three cans without a problem, but only two normal size Poland spring water bottles. So just keep that in mind. On a day that looks like rain or snow, don't forget it's construction, we work in everything. The weatherproof utility case is perfect for holding my wallet, my phone, my keys, all the stuff that you wanna keep out of the weather. This little guy is pretty amazing and with its YKK Aqua Guard zipper and water resistant coating, it's like a little brick house for your valuables. Finally, there's the hip pack. Let's just go ahead and avoid calling it the fanny pack, okay? I'm a middle-aged dad, but that doesn't mean that I've gone full socks and sandals yet. In all reality, this pack works best as a top compartment since that's how it opens. But there really is something valuable about being able to strip down your pack into smaller components. And I'll give you an example. A while back, we had gone into a job, we were out doing more railroad work, and it was just far away from any bathroom or anything even resembling a bathroom. So if you had to go and do your business, it meant a little hike into the woods. So keeping, you know, toiletries and the things that you need to uh, do that and be able to bring that with you rather than bringing the whole pack that's a pretty nice little feature. In all reality, if you like a hip pack and you can get past the fashion faux pas aspect of it, I say rock on. I can totally see the utility of it and how useful it could be. But even though these packs are designed to go on the outside of the bag, I can really see how they'd be useful for organization within the bag. Matter of fact, I've been using these ones for a while. I'm sure you've seen them on the Carhartt website. They're just a, a canvas bag and they work great for, I use them a lot for keeping cables and stuff like that, you know, from working their way to the bottom of a briefcase or a bag. 
in this case this bag here these things though they tuck nicely inside the bag so for example if you want to take the insulated uh, cooler and you know with your lunch and everything and put that inside the bag just to keep it separate from everything that's in there it works just as well to keep things organized on the inside so I think that's a little hidden benefit that they don't really mention is that you can take all of these and load it up inside the main pack and you basically have little compartments for everything Carhartt keeps it affordable too and this is one of the things they've always done well is keeping things within reach of the working man or working woman um, and all of this this large pack with every single add-on pack on the outside of it all comes in at just over 200 bucks you know I mean keeping things affordable and again something that you can buy and really really use hard without having to worry I mean you buy a, a mystery ranch pack for five or six hundred dollars you're gonna be pretty careful about where you use it this is a working tool the way that all Carhartt stuff is it's meant to be used and they've priced it accordingly so guys that is the Carhartt cargo series I think it's a great modular system and of course in construction our days are always changing but that's the same way in a lot of different industries and uh, so I think that this has a use in many different applications maybe yours and I want to know what yours is so please let me know if you plan to use this if you think it's a great idea if you think it's a total miss let me know in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. And I love talking to you guys down there. I try to respond to every single comment. Sometimes I can't get around to all of them, but I do my best. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time.